Hey guys, Scarlett at Bill Cross here, and somehow I talked myself into paint this today. So buckle up, we're gonna be here for a little while. I probably won't get to completely finish it because um, the outlining on these bigger pieces, I just really like this to dry completely before I go back and outline. It just turns out better because there's so much. And the outline's a little bit deeper. So we're most likely going to be base coating it. But we'll see how it goes. This is putty. And I pretty much always go for putty when I am painting hair coats. Because there is a burlap color. So that would work as well. But this is also very burlap to me. So the brush I'm base coating with is just one we sell online in our pack of brushes. It's probably the largest brush that comes in that pack. A lot of times when I'm painting these bigger pieces, I will go ahead and make sure that the um, etching gets filled in. Now I'm going to go in, let's see, I know I'm going to paint that as like a sunflower, so we'll paint the um, petals in caramel mustard. Um, today is the first day of Canton. They are selling today. Haven't really heard any reports on how it's going. Or what the weather is like, but it is Texas. I imagine it's hot. Again, kernel mustard, it's the most sunflower-like color to me. Um, there's also daisy, but it's a much softer yellow. I'm also going to use this color to paint um, the straw. I might go over the straw with like putty and white and brown, we'll see. So what's going on with Kettle Corn this weekend? Did you already talk about that? No, I haven't. On Kettle Corn this weekend, we're doing $10 off all orders, $20 and over. So it's a good time to put in your orders, especially if you're wanting um, containers and stuff like that, because we don't do our sales on the containers as often. So this is a way you can get some dollars off containers. And that'll start tomorrow and end on Sunday night. How big is this yard, Scarecrow? I, think these are I feel like you probably tall. really. Yep, forty-four inches tall. Oh yeah, I was just to say. I think he's like at least four feet. He's close to it. Close I to what you said thirty-four, and I was telling no, you he's a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, I mean. Which is kind of our standard height, and it's about as big as we can go with uh, shipping, shipping liability, and everything. So we just usually go at forty-four. Which is we. The do you sell a lot of this painted in Canton? So if you're wanting to find a um, yard art that you don't have to paint, that's where you need to check us out at. This one will go to Canton next weekend, next um, trade day weekend. Oh, 
yeah, we're in Canton. I know, but this one won't go there. Yeah, it'll go next next month. I already told them we're in Canton right now. They probably don't own it. Oh my. We also have this. Uh, you ever seen our big head scarecrow yard art? Um, yeah, I think I designed that, that head. Yeah. Did you? Or I requested it. Hey, uh, you know what I'm saying? Model. I've never um, been the one to like actually design the shapes, but really? I definitely asked for a lot of shapes. You did some. You did like the, some of those address signs and stuff. You know, I like, mean, yeah, but I like I don't make don't it. Draw, I'm like, hey, this is what I want. Yeah. And someone makes it for me. I, I'll come up with the ideas, but I don't do the work. Yeah, you're the diva designer. You yeah. Like snap your fingers. Yeah. Well, I've been spoiled. You know, Jared did everything I asked him today, so. I think uh, BJ probably would, too. He's not here. Left with Billy. <laughs> oh, I do everything he asked him. Mostly. This little piece of hay literally looks like a little thumb. I don't know if that was intentional, but... It looks like this could definitely be a thumb and some fingers. Kind of in disguise in the hay. Are you guys ready to be talking about fall? Because we are. But we also live in the south. Um, so we're ready for slightly cooler temperatures, even though it doesn't really cool off that much in the fall. Um it really starts to cool off in the winter. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't necessarily hotter yesterday, but I noticed the humidity was so bad yesterday. Oh, yeah, and that makes it like you can't breathe. But there was one day, like yesterday afternoon, it felt nice. It felt pretty nice. Also. I think it rained yesterday afternoon, didn't it? I don't know. Pretty sure it did in Starlington, so that always makes it, not always, but sometimes makes it a little bit nicer outside. It's like it's a point where you pretty much get like a third degree burn from your steering wheel. Um, and you don't want to go outside. You avoid going outside at all costs. So I'm definitely over it, even though I love summer. This is at the point where I'm okay when it ends. I really think that I would love, and I probably talk about this literally every live, but here we are. I would love winter a lot more if we didn't have daylight savings time. That's my biggest drawback. Really? I hate when it gets dark at like 6 o'clock. I'm alright. It's depressing. It's depressing just trying to relax for the evening and still daylight. Nah. <laughs> Relax for the evening. You're like, I, when it's dark outside, it's bedtime. Like, let's literally go to like, sleep. Yeah, yeah, I just feel like my day's not over when the sun's out. Can't happen. Like, you feel like you need to be doing something. Yeah, I feel like I gotta be walking around. I gotta be yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't feel that. So. Yeah, I guess that would be different. Got some uh, exclusive Amazon deals. If you want to purchase from us and use the Amazon Marketplace, we always have a website that we keep up on our on our page. Um, I'm sorry, a web page that we keep up on our website. I'll put a link for that. And we really need to get y'all to bring us some circles, and me and Sarah can incorporate maybe do like a week of circle painting. Some ideas um, to help give you guys some ideas of how you can use the circles. Because those are on sale. Also, think the pumpkins are on sale. Did I hear y'all talking about that? Yes, we do have our basic pumpkin shape on there. We have, I believe, our football shape. We have wagon wheels on there. We have a couple of very, um, very, very popular items. We'll keep adding a few um, seasonal things to yes. help people who want to buy from us. Maybe not. Uh, some people just aren't sure about buying from a private company like this. So we have uh, opened an Amazon account, and you can purchase from us on Amazon and get all the protections of the Amazon marketplace that way and it's pretty good prices on our stuff. 
definitely need to get some of those plain pumpkins brought up here um, and the circles. And we can do some live paint notes because the plain pumpkin's not one I paint a lot. So it would be good to have it up here so we can do that. And we'll see if we can get Sarah on board with a week of circles. This is actually a very popular um, door hanger option. If you look on Etsy or Pinterest, you'll see it a lot. Um, but with our paint by line, it's not something we're always like grabbing, but we could definitely do some. Chrissy's going to make a door hanger today. You do? Oh, okay, so you got No, sorry. Oh, it's blue. We have some good quality pictures of that. We always need, you guys, if y'all paint our stuff, send us pictures because we always need pictures um, for our website to use as a finished option. So we could display your images there. Yes. What's the easiest way for them to do that? To tag us or to email us? Look, they can do it through the review. Um, the reviewer that they get emailed from are they can email us directly and give us permission to use their picture, and we'll be glad to uh, put it as a secondary picture on our website. Yeah, we do have a little section on our website that's like customer um, submissions. Yeah. And that's always fun to look at. Yeah, and that's all automated. You know, that's you'll get an email after, a few days after you purchase. That part is it. Yeah. Yeah, that's part of it. They submit some of their work. Uh, there's some rewards for doing some of these things, for us, like complete reviews. That's and, something I was going to talk about is me and Billy were talking about the rewards program. We have um, we have it on Pop -A -Lot and Build Across. And we don't see it as much being used on Build Across, probably because I forget to talk about it. Um, so it's a great way, like as you spend, you're going to earn points. As you sign up, you're going to earn points. Um, your birthday, you're going to earn points. There's all kinds of ways, like reviews and yeah. stuff, you can earn points. You can tell people about us or send uh, Share us, yeah. And stuff like that. And all those points convert to dollars off. So it's a great way to say. And you can sign up for that on the website. It should probably pop up, I think. Yeah, it's pop up on the left hand side. On like the bottom left hand side. And again, that's all on Pop a Lot too. And I see it being used all the time on Pop a Lot because it automatically creates coupon codes. We might just not see it too because it's two different platforms. Yeah, I'll have to check on it. I saw some people accumulate a lot of points. I mean, it rewards points pretty quickly. So. I mean, and those points really encourage me to spend because. Um, I be shopping at Abercrombie and they send me little ten dollars off that I get for my points and it's just dangerous. Yeah, if you're like somebody that uses an e commerce wallet, you familiar with that? Uh -uh. Where you kinda of collect all your rewards from different places in one place. One spot. Yeah, I think Smile is compatible with that. Smile is the um, the rewards program we use. Yeah, it's free money. Yeah. It's free money. That's how it feels silly. <laughs> This color I'm using is Antebellum Blue. It's almost a denim color, but it's kind of got green in it, kind of teal. And then the other color I'll use um, is Sea Glass. I want to remind all of our normal, our regular viewers uh, to continue to like, share, comment, tag people, um, just share us with your friends and family, uh, anybody that you think is interested in what we do or our mission here. Tell them about us. We appreciate the help. Yes, it helps us grow. That's something also we've been talking about on Pop a Lot is that if you just comment on any of our posts, like them, share them, comment them. Um, I mean, any post. 
that's helping us grow and we pick winners. I'll go through and look through the comments and I'll pick a few of you guys each week to send a bag of kettle corn to. So please do that. We love that. And I actually had, I had posted about that and you guys have been doing good. You've been commenting on all our stuff. We had somebody submit an image of their kettle corn order. Also, the week after Canton, we're thinking we're going to start our, um, you won't be here the week after Canton. Mm -hmm. So the week after the week after Canton. Um, I'm going to need more than your spirit. So we're going to do that contest where you email us an image. And it can be just like literally stick people. You're just giving us an idea for a product. Um, and then we'll pick probably three winners like we did last time. Or a photo. You can use like uh, something you find on Pinterest that inspired you or, or elsewhere. Something in your own home that you'd like to see available as cut out. Some type of kit that you've seen at Hobby Lobby that we don't offer. <laughs> Whatever. How are you? Yeah. How are you? And then we'll pick three winners to um, send. The product that you submitted, and also there will be like additional. Probably the third place winner just gets their product. Second place winner, can't remember what you get. The third place, I mean the first place winner, I think got a um, a coupon. I mean a gift card. Hundred dollars store credit plus. Um, plus, you get to see your your product and get first. Yeah, and then we might even send some kettle corn. And the one we did last Just year. Just really do a big little gift little basket. Bit. Yeah, we had so many submissions last year. So hopefully um, it turns out as well as it did last year. It was lots of fun. Or maybe that was that two years ago? It may have been two years now. It's been a while. Yeah, I think it was two years ago. No, what you time flies. The pumpkin is the fifth one, right? Yeah. 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 That was two years ago. Was it really? Yeah. Man. That was still pulling orders. It's such a blur because, you know, I think we're all messed up still from 2020. Like, life never, <laughs> time never, like, felt right again, I guess, after that. Well, kind of all melted together. Okay, so sea glass, animal, and blue, they're so pretty together. Um... And I don't know where Clara's pants should be. Brown? Let's turn them brown. I feel like I'm sure her with her brown pants. She don't have that um, floor thing on her side. And it's like so hard to scoot. Scoot. That's a funny word, isn't it? Scoot. Like, I ever do that? You say a word and you're like. Say like scoot. Scout, I guess Claire thinks a little. Scout? Is that a nickname? Uh, no, I heard that as a nickname. Really? Scout's an actual dog. thing. You can see a dog being called Scout. I don't know what you Scout. Good boy. I don't know, I'm just talking crazy. I never know what I'm talking about. What was y'all's nickname when y'all were little? Mine is Spud. <laughs> I'm actually Uncle Spud still, like it's still a that strong is family name. Precious. Uh, fortunate. Billy is my nickname, so. Yeah, because Billy's name is actually William. Yeah. Um, I'm still not over finding out Tony's real name. Antonio. And Tony, no, Clarence. Anthony, I mean, I'm sorry. Clarence. Clarence Anthony. Is it Clarence Anthony or Clarence Antonio? Clarence Anthony. Sounds like he's from the mob. <laughs> <laughs> um, looks like it's Yes, so very funny. My mom does not exist. Uh, my middle name, I mean, my nickname was Darla um, when I was little, little. And then at like high school, um, little, Letty. What? Little Darla? No, like they just called me Darla when I was little. <coughs> not little Darla. Hey, uh, Sarah, why did they do that? No, I, I don't think it was um, Laura's fault. Wasn't it because my 
I would say like um I don't know. Maybe it was a rascal. I just don't remember that being that Stacy said hers was Pee Wee. Hmm? What? No, hey, Stacy. Somebody on the thing. Casey, what was your middle, uh, your Stacey, nickname? Did you have a name? Did you? What? <laughs> I'm gonna need you to say that again. Okay, my dad always and still to this day calls me Laylee Bob. Laylee Bob. Laylee Bob. It makes no sense. It doesn't rhyme with my name, but I was Laylee Bob. Okay. Out there. The embarrassment is gone. That is so funny. Yeah, you get used to it after a while. I mean, yeah, you get used to your nickname after a while. I didn't have any embarrassing nicknames. I feel like people did try to make Scar happen, and I shut that down pretty quickly. Um, like, yeah, absolutely not. Um, but I don't think I had like a funny nickname. That would annoy people it was a whole traumatic thing for K3. I have several names. Trauma. Like Maybe kindergarten. Charlotte, Scarlett. Um, okay. I got you a pink. Hey, Daddy, Daddy. Or did I'll do the red. Daddy, do you have a, did you have a nickname? Whatever. <laughs> Lies. Uh, come on now. <laughs> Carla with DD. Um, but we did, did you hear what Tara, I mean, Sarah named her turtle? Jimothy. <laughs> She was going to name it like Willow or something. And I was like, no, it needs to be named Brother Jim. And oh, wow. she was like, what about Jimothy? And I was like, best thing I've ever heard. So, Jimothy, Jimothy the turtle, yeah. crawling around Sarah's backyard right now. Paula was Tink. Jackson Carla Dee Dee. Dee. <laughs> Lisa was. A little bit. Capuche. <laughs> Pammy for Pam. E.B. for Evelyn. Uh, E.B. for Evelyn. We have a Evelyn uh, niece, and we call her E.B. Also with my dad and my nephew. Their names are Jane, and we call them Jim. Jill was Jelly Bean. I called Gracie's mom Jill. Jilly Bean. Jilly Bean? <laughs> yeah. Is that embarrassing or what? A little bit. Hey, Jilly Bean. Linda had several. Kim was Kimmy or Kimbo. I can see that. Bobby was Boo Boo. Some people are just gifted nicknamers. Are you a gifted nicknamer? Not really. My husband's name is Corey, and they call him Coco. I still call him. Probably we all still call him that. That's cute. Yeah. Or like. I don't know that that's his name, but they do be calling him Corey Donovan. That's his middle name, Donovan. Donovan, yeah. I had a few people call me Will or Bill. I mean, just. I, I like just Bill. wonder how all that started Maybe. because William and Billy, that's just, there's nothing that there's, at least with James and Jim, you got the J, but like, and I guess with William and Bill, you have the L, but I just don't. Like, how do you come up with these names? It's got to be something to do with the Germanic roots of the name. I don't know. I mean, I, hey, you know what's funny? I'm looking up this for the first time. Uh, we can Google. Let's see. Let us know what Google says. Bill was, in fact, part of a great 13th, 14th century trend of swapping another letter for the original first letter. How long ago? Rhyming slang. Bill, Bill, Woe, well, Will? Or? Yeah. <laughs> Banana, Nana, Focus. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> uh, it's tough. That would be some schizophrenic stuff, bro. Hi. Um, so that's one answer. Yeah. The letter swapping. What we're going to talk about in another video is some Netflix shows. Because I need recommendations. You need recommendations for some Netflix shows? Yeah, so we gotta ask you're watching the case, what you're watching right now. now. Yeah. We'll do it next time, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm re watching a show that I really like. 
um, but it's a Hulu show called Elementary. Um, and it's a Sherlock Holmes yeah. type show, but like a different interpretation than I feel like it's ever been done. And I love it. I love it. Yeah, uh, second time watching it. And <clears throat> now that I'm watching it, you know, it's like I've been telling everybody you got to watch this because it's just a good show. It's not stressful. <clears throat> I think for the most part, it's cleaner than a lot of stuff that's out there right now. I'm not saying it's perfect. great. You know, yeah, right, perfect. But definitely, there's some. It's hard to find a show. You know, it really is. I've been going back to Brooklyn Nine Nine. It just makes me feel. Oh my gosh, I love it. I did not know you watched it's, that. It's the same thing though. It's kind of easy. It's not filthy. You love know, Brooklyn Nine Nine. I'm, you know, I'm afraid of like getting invested in a show and getting interested in another one and then losing everything I'm invested in. So I pretty much stick with one main show at a time. So I always go easy. Right now, it's better call Saul. Well, see, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I, don't I need that. to watch again because I watched it while it was going on. Yeah. And then, like, when the new season came on, I guess I didn't know, maybe. You know, because you got yeah. so many shows. It ended, and like, not that long ago. Yeah, like, you got so many shows in your queue that you're watching. Yeah, it's easy. Like I can, I can definitely get interested in multiple ones, but I know the results of that are be like losing it. Yeah, then I'm, I'm interested. In oh, I'm currently watching that. three different shows. Um, I'm watching Elementary. I'm watching something really stupid on Netflix, but Netflix is the only thing I have in my bedroom. Um, and in my living room, I have all the smart apps. But I mean, in my bedroom, I only have access like, to Netflix. Whatever I'll watch with trouble because. Right. So I have my Netflix show in the bedroom. I have elementary Hulu in the living room and a show that I'm kind of watching with Corey, kind of watching with him. He wants me to watch a show with him, but he's busy. And when the show is good, I'm not going to wait days to find out what happened. Clearly not. Obviously. Great so, trying to put me on some Teen Robert Like what? What we Probably not even Teen Well, she does Robert. watch Stranger Things. I'll, I'll give her. I do watch that with her, but the other shows that I put on, I can go to school. Okay, okay. Well, that that makes more sense. I try to get back into the things that the man that first episode. I was like sitting. I was sitting in the living room with her last night, just eating, and I'm like watching garbage. I'm like, I definitely I'm have like, a show. I love my daughter. I'm, I'm watching. Mother. That's probably like a teenager. Yeah, type show. <laughs> I'm because. It's um, a spinoff from Vampire Diaries. So I watched all of Vampire Diaries, the original. And there's a spinoff called Legacy. And it is kind of a teenager show. Like but I love it. What? Was Stefan and Damon. It's like the most stressful show I've ever watched. Everybody dies. They come back to life. I will never watch it again, but I loved it. Like, but it was a roller coaster of emotion. Um, is so, it Bram Stoker's type? I don't know. Dracula or no, 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 Anna no, no, Rice? No, not Sagara. very um, modern day vampire. Like kind of like nothing like Twilight. Queen of the Dam. Can like we that. all agree that Twilight was garbage? Uh, not even the Never gave it much of a chance. Not the book, the movie. was so bad. So bad. <laughs> I'm going to make him some silver buttons because he's a classy guy. Are you serious? Go back and watch the movies now, though. Maybe at the time with the hype, we were like, yes, this movie is so amazing. But if you go back and watch it, the...
kind of perfect so that you could be able to see him finish. Um, so maybe tomorrow, Friday, we'll outline him on camera for you guys. Um, but for today, I'm just going to keep him like this. Second. Well, you didn't get to hear my rant about oh, Twilight. Awesome. I'll go <laughs> over the color. I think it was Facebook messing with you. There. You know, they do that. They're Kristen probably like, Stewart how dare you talk about Twilight that way. Um, when he's picking a winner, I'm going to go over the colors real quick. So we have pine cone, kernel mustard, chocolate, barn red, terracotta, soft pink. And then his hair is kernel mustard base blended with um, putty and chocolate. Annabellum blue, sea glass. His pants are chocolate. And his buttons are the gemstone mousse in diamond. If you guys haven't tried this, I really encourage you to order some. I would start with the golden gem because I love gold. But if you're more of a silver person, get the diamond. It's just great. Excellent coverage. Yep. I've painted frames, Single like picture frames. for the most part, right? Yeah, for sure. It is probably the most, the best coverage of any Dixie Girl product. I've painted like picture frames with the gold. Um, my mom's painted a picture frame with the gold. There's just all kinds of stuff you can do with it. It does take a little while to dry. It actually says, let dry for 30 minutes, cures in 24 hours. And that makes a lot of sense. I've never yeah. read this. Yeah. So, yeah. And it does not dry with your heat gun either. Not, it needs time to cure. So, more glance at it. Again, this is a 44 inch tall freestanding. It's going to come with a base that helps it stand up. You can use it for in indoor or outdoor decor. It's cut on our yellow pine, so it will withstand weather. Uh, we do recommend sealing it if you get this item and paint it yourself. Yeah, we get a lot of questions about how our products stand up to the weather. Pretty much just like any other wood. The wood does great, especially our um, water resistant MDF. What you'll find though is that paint chips, no matter what you paint, your front door, your porch swing, it's all got to be done after a few years. Yep. So that's what you'll find goes first, which is why we recommend doing a really good clear coat. Maybe even you want to do multiple coats and it puts almost kind of like a lacquer and protects the paint. The wood is going to be fine. All right. Uh, today's winner, what are they winning? I don't know. Store credit? store credit. All right. Stacy Adams Wheeler. Stacy Wheeler, please email us at support at bill-a-cross.com. We're going to send you some store credits. You can buy whatever you want. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and come back tomorrow and I'll outline.